promoter and supporter of boxing in Nigeria, the man responsible for the renaissance of boxing in Nigeria, the irrepressible Adeyan Abeyumi Ogusoya, senior advocate of Nigeria, chairman multi choice, chairman Go TV Boxing. We now go back to commentaries. Go TV Boxing Night 17. Boxing Jams Music. Welcome back to Super Sport right here at the TBS, Tafar Balewa Square in the city of Lagos. Go TV Boxing Night, the 17th edition. Take another look at the fight card. Two fights gone down. And of course, we're going into the third fight. That fight will be against Mubrak. Uh, Hamzat taking on real one or Lado Su in a national lightweight challenge contest. Eight rounds of boxing. And of course, we've got Ridwan Oyekola up against Ludin Prince Fatai. It's for this national super featherweight challenge. Another eight rounds of boxing. Uh, certainly, and of course, uh, we're going to have uh, more fights uh, coming up. Hamid Ganiu against the uh, Auto. Joe Boy Joseph Yusuf Muftau against Olaide Yusuf Fijabi. And of course, uh, Victus uh, Kemavo against Lua Femio Yeleye. And the main event of the night, uh, Isa Nam Pepeche against uh, Olua Sheung Wahab. The man that has fought all his fights in Ghana, 17 in all, 17 wins, all of them in Ghana. Absolutely fantastic. It's time for Nigeria to get to see him live here, and that's what we're going to do tonight. Yeah, sure. It's nice to be back home to fight before your home fans. And that's what Wahab will be doing tonight in the mid event for the fight for the WBF title. Well, we we'll hope to see that when it happens live here in the city of Lagos. Let's get back into the ring for the ring announcer. Benga Dink at the first to tell us what's up next, the third fight of the night. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Go TV Boxing Night 17. Boxing, charms, music. Our fourth fight is an eight round national lightweight challenge bow. In the blue corner, Mubarak Moga. Hamzat, he's 33 years of age, and of course, all the other gone by there, making his way to the ring for this third bout of the Go TV Boxing Night 17, a national lightweight challenge contest, eight rounds of boxing. It's gonna be. Mudrak Hamzat, otherwise uh, known as Morgan. Uh, his nickname, of course, uh, he's had uh, 10 fights. Uh, of course, uh, won eight of them and two draws. Uh, and so the man is still unbeaten. So he's going to go tonight against uh, another experienced uh, fighter. And a real one, a real one, uh, Lado Su. Experience campaigner. Let's get back into the ring for the opening to be called in. In the red corner, real one, the real one. Oh.
see what he's gonna every time he fights he brings something new we know that he's an absolute showman you saw him doing the shaku shaku earlier on the stage there and he's gonna do that tonight as well uh that is if he wins but you can be sure he's bringing all his best he does that every time and like you said he's one of the fighters to look out for tonight is the west african champion let's get introductions are done there by the ring announcer In the blue corner, weighing in at 61.1 kilograms, is that 10 fights, 1 8, drawn 2, 5 by knockout, Mubarak Morgan Abza. Weighing in at 59.5 kilograms is at 10 fights. One all 10. Three by knockout. Real one. The real world. All right, also. Our judges are. Tola Jacobs, Wahab Martins, and Latif Muiz. Our referee is Shegu Adesoy. I'm sure my this one the center referee for this bout. If you are told to box, you box. If you are told to stop boxing, you stop boxing. If you are told to break, you break. Remember the basic rules of this sport. No rabbit punch, no kidney punch, no elbow, no use of headbutt. Any foul committed by you will be penalized for it. At the beginning of the first round, you beat yourself, and at the beginning of the last round, you beat yourself. The chief seconds have the right to throw in the towel. If you are in trouble, have a great day. Thank you. And it's next, the third round of the night. And that's man there, Mubarak Hamzat. 61.1 kg, he weighs a slight uh, weight, uh, weight advantage over uh, the much more renowned, the real one, real one Oladosu, who weighs in at 59.5 kg. Uh, really, Mubarak Hamzad is also experiencing some beating in 10 fights, uh, two draws and eight wins. Uh, well, of course, uh, the national and the West Africa champion, the showman, the real one, Real one, Aladusu. It comes in with a lot of um, interesting things when it comes into the ring. It's, a, it's got this ring generalship that everyone talks about uh, since he turned a professional. A 26 year old has been doing a whole lot. And that's exactly what uh, we just saw now, and you can see the fans applauding him. He hasn't even thrown a punch yet, but you know that. He's got fantastic upper body movement, which uh, makes him a very difficult target for his opponents, and he can counter punch absolutely well. Oh, definitely. And the volume of punches that he, he throws uh, really is interesting to behold. In the last Go TV 16th edition, um, he fought the main event. Absolutely. And of course, he won the West Africa title then when he defeated uh, Benjamin Lamte of Ghana. And he's already given the fans a lot to cheer. Absolutely. Now he's thrown a, a, probably fewer punches, but they have been telling punches that we've seen so far. And you know, the, he has that thing about him. 
he's able to taunt his opponents in the ring. Oh, that's a good job that almost has sent his opponent to the canvas. And he's taunting this man. Absolutely. Just in the first round. Oh, some good, good jabs are I coming mean, in there from... Just look at the way those jabs are connected. Mubarak Hamzat is fighting scared. Absolutely. I mean, those jabs that caught him earlier on, you could see he can't even concentrate on his own fight strategy here. I'm so scared, he was almost running away. And, and you remember the great uh, Muhammad Ali using this same kind of strategy. I'm pretty sure uh, Ali's probably one of uh, the real one, a lot of those idols in boxing. It's only the first round. Still have uh, like 15 more seconds to go. Oh, those are some pretty bad punches. What the hell is he doing? I mean, that's exactly what Olados makes. Oh, look at that connection. Right. Oh, that was a straight Absolute. right. And he's flawed. Can you see me, the referee wow. says? Can you see? It's over. It's over. That it was, is over. That was a bomb. Did you see that punch? It was a knockout. It was a bomb. Take another look. And let's see. Bang. That's it. The and right there you have it. Wow. Absolute cracker of a punch there. Bow! First Lights round, out. Knockout. Lights out. If nobody saw that coming, I saw it coming. I, 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 I saw something close to it coming, but I never expected it to happen at that point in time. Because you know we were counting out on that first round. Man. Absolutely crazy. And you could see there. Mubarak is still recovering, and this is a man who has 10 fights, is yet to lose any one of it. That is how good Oladosu is. Nero won a night of boxing. Three fights, first one ended in the third round. The second fight ended in the fourth round. And this one, just in the first round, and it says KO. And this is the first fight ending in KO. Absolutely. The other two was that ended where TKO wins, but this is a KO. Uh, I mean, he was in total control of that fight. He knew what he wanted to do. Allowed Mubarak to do a lot of his own show. And at, at, the, at the end of the day, he just noticed that Mubarak was not coming into this thing with and anything. And he taunted the man and ended it. Just ended where TKO wins. But this is a KO. Uh, I mean, he was in total control of that fight. He knew what he wanted to do. Allowed Mubarak to do a lot of his own show. And at the, at the end of the day, he just noticed that Mubarak was not coming into this thing with anything. Whoa, the man give me the guy, Whoa, give me the guy. And ended it just when he wanted to. Mubarak was scared right from the bell. And it's unbelievable. He's just been helped up now. Off your picture. He's been able to regain his um, senses and regain everything to know exactly where he is and you can see him you know acknowledging his fans there they know him they know what he can bring to the ring and that's exactly what he's done this is the man a prospect the national and west africa champion and that's the man uh taking all the spelle sorry uh, from everybody yeah uh, uh, it's biko part of it biko is please right take another look at that Pow! He didn't even know what hit him. And it was like a super fly, uh, flying away, but it was uh, the negative one. It flew down, and it stayed down for a long, long time. One of those punches that lands, and you begin to see stars, and the next thing you see is a blackout. You know, he didn't even know where he was. He was sitting in the opening um, uh, corner. Let's go into the ring for the official decision now from the ring announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, in the 53rd second of the first round, winner by knockout, real one, the real world, Stand by commentary again, we we'll take another break, commentary. Yes, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. We'll see promo the next day. Yes, Claire, eh? stand by. Yes, I'll go to you guys. 
Q uh, commentary. We showed it. I know they were not taking down our life. That's what they said. That. So that's what uh, it is a four. Real one. So. He is the real one. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, Ladusu. Absolutely. Absolutely. And uh, it's time for him to go continental. And then, of course, intercontinental and international.